This is WJTV News Channel 12 at 6. Concentration camps. People mostly associate the term with Nazi Germany, but historians say it's true. They also existed in America. During the Civil War, authorities in Natchez, Mississippi, forced tens of thousands of freed slaves into camps built in what's known as the Devil's Punch Bowl. Jacob Kittlestad explores this forgotten history this Mystery Monday. Untouched fruit falls to the ground near the banks of the Mississippi River. They talk about there's the most beautiful wild peach groves uh, down in the punch bowl. And researcher Paula Westbrook says, like a peach, the area known as the Devil's Punch Bowl has a pit, a mass grave from the 1860s. Historians estimate that in one year, up to 20,000 freed slaves died in contraband camps below these bluffs. When the slaves were released from the plantations during the occupation, they overran Natchez. And the population went from about 10,000 to 120,000 overnight. So they decided to build an encampment for them at Devil's Punch Bowl, which they walled off and wouldn't let them out. Don Estes is the former director of the Natchez City Cemetery. I just put my own tombstone <laughs> right there. You see Estes? Learning history's been his life. He says Union troops ordered recaptured black men to perform hard labor. Straight down, right here. While women and children were all but left to die in the three punch bowl prisons. Disease broke out among them, smallpox being the main one, and thousands and thousands died. They were begging to get out, turn me loose, and I'll go home back to the plantation, anywhere but there. But they wouldn't let them out. The Union Army did not allow them to remove the bodies from the camp. They just gave them shovels and said, bury them where they drop. And I'd really like to show you more of this terrain, but it's just too thick with greenery. These bluffs are also straight down, so not only is it dangerous to navigate, it's still very mysterious back there. It's a bed of alligators and snakes. Uh, it would take Indiana Jones to get back in there at this point. Then you come on up washing away bluffs and it, the devil's punch bowl that has so many people that no one knows how they got killed or when, and they're still down there wasted. And even to this day, they talk about wild peach trees that come up down there, but no one in Natchez will eat them because they know what the fertilizer was. Exploring the unexplained on Mystery Monday, Jacob Kittlestead, WJTV News Channel 12. And historians say even now, people might discover old skeletal remains after flooding on the Mississippi. But being on the Natchez Trace, sometimes it's difficult to tell which century those bones are from.